Close your eyes, watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. And then again, in and out. Stick with it. When you're doing something good, you want to stay with it as much as you can. Because the mind does have this tendency to wander around. And it ends up falling for its defilements. Greed, aversion, delusion can pull you away. You lose out to these things. How many times in the course of the day? Try to put up a fight. You've got something good here. The breath can be as comfortable as you want. Just learn how to maintain that sense of well-being inside. Because it's perfectly harmless. And it does give you the strength you need to overcome greed, aversion, and delusion when they come and try to pull you away again. There's a passage in the canon that says that the devas shout for joy over three occasions. So one is when the disciple, the noble ones, decides to go forth and to ordain. The devas shout out, ah, the disciple, the noble ones, has decided to do battle with Mara. Then while that person is practicing the seven sets of the wings to awakening, like the four establishments of mindfulness, the four bases for power, the four right exertions, the five strengths, the five faculties, seven factors for awakening, the Eightfold Noble Path. The devas shout out now. Now the disciple of the Noble Ones is doing battle with Mara. And then when the disciple has attained full awakening, become an Arahant, then they say, oh, now he's won out over Mara. His victory is complete. That's the kind of victory that the, the devas celebrate. The victories that we have in the world where one person beats out over another person, nobody celebrates that up in heaven, because the sea is just a matter of creating more karma. The real victory is the victory inside. Victory outside comes and goes. You gain the victory and then it erodes away. But the victory inside, if you keep at it, takes you to a place where it cannot erode away, it cannot change. And you're not creating any bad karma as you do this. It's all good karma that we're in this kind of battle. So we don't need to get involved in the battles outside. Other people try to pull us in, say, if you're not with us, you're against us. Well, no, that's not the case. We've got other battles you've got to fight. Battles are more important, the battle inside. Because battles outside never really settle anything. But the battle inside, that's where the true victory is found. So when someone has decided to go forth and do a battle like that, we all express our admiration too. This is an expression of empathetic joy. Seeing that it's good that there are people in the world who are taking on this kind of battle, and we're happy to support it. And that gives us encouragement that we can take on this battle as well, whether we ordain or don't ordain. You can still practice those seven sets of the wings to awakening. Maybe someday the devas will shout out to you that you've won out as well.